first and foremost, we like to give our praises and our glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakodash. The but honor to the apostles and the elders that do well a great millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akia Mode, pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. We say Shalom to you, humble and sincere sisters out there as well. Just to the brothers from the GMS Strand Camp, come to push the true doctrine of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Alright, this lesson will be entitled Suffering for Nothing. Alright. Basically going into the, the, the things of this world. It is vanity. It don't it don't add up to anything. You know, and a, a majority of our people they suffering, you know, they they they're going through tribulation, they're going through tribulation, turmoil, persecution, but for, for, for a vain thing. They're doing it to acquire wealth, or they're doing it to get women. Or they're doing it to have possessions, house, car, land. You know, or they're doing it to eat it like gym. You know, men going die hard, devoting their whole life, their whole purpose to the gym and to exercising. But that in itself is vanity because there's one course of man, one way to be born, right? And all men are, are born and all men die. So the gym and training and eating healthy is not going to stop you from dying right so you could devote how much you want into fitness and and and, and um health right not saying taking care of yourself is a bad thing for bodily the scriptures say for bodily exercise profited little it didn't say no profit at all but you're still going to die that cannot stop you from dying right so the all, all people you know the, in this society they, they would go after all these these things but when they die it it is it, it, that like it don't matter it have no weight it have no value to it it have no true value to it all right so the first precept would be in the book of second Ezra, chapter 7 verse 18. second Ezra chapter 7 verse 18. he said nevertheless the righteous shall suffer three things and hope for why for they that have done wickedly have suffered the three things and yet shall not see the why okay All right as a center uh, uh, um a video a motive like a motivational type video it say you're already in pain at least get a reward from it and this remind me of this verse it says nevertheless the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for why so the righteous going to suffer right all everybody is going to suffer regardless but the righteous is going to suffer and they're gonna what they're hoping for the wide and they're gonna receive the wide right so they're gonna suffer this persecution here and they're gonna receive all things it says for they that have done wickedly shall suffer the straight things and yet shall not see the wide so the the wicked now they're suffering too but they ain't gonna receive anything for it because it's van the things that they're suffering for is vanity Right, so the men and the men and women in this truth, they they're gonna they're gonna be persecuted, they they're gonna be put to death, they're gonna have to go through farming, right? All different different things, but they have a reward to receive at the end of it. But the wicked now, do the wicked gonna be in the, the, the Jacob Jacob's trouble is not just for the elect, Jacob's trouble is for Jacob, right? The other the, the, the Israelites that is outside of, of the ones that will receive salvation two thirds of our people they're gonna go through farming they're gonna have to live you know um, in the, in the, in those dark times they're gonna be put to death they're gonna all manner of things gonna happen to them but it have no reward for it you understand they entered the wrong race you know they, they didn't enter the, they, they, they walking down the wrong path right this path our part that we walk in, we it leading us to salvation, but they their part just leading them to to, to nothing, right? Because you hear Jake talking about hey, how ta how um tough times is on his job, you know, family, whatever, all the problems Jake have, and it's like, what it what they doing about it? They're making it worse. You understand? That that is literally what Israel does do. Israel, we know our problems. We know everything that is wrong. It's just Jake don't know how to fix it. Jake think going to the one that caused it is going to fix it. You understand? Esau, Jake think Esau put this upon them. Let me go to Esau to fix it. But the men, the men of the Lord thinking one step ahead. We're going to go to the one that told Esau. 
to do the things that he did to us. We're gonna go to the source. Right as the scripture say, um for the ones for the one that brought these plagues upon you shall bring you um everlasting joy with your salvation. We're gonna go to the the, the, the highest high, you understand? The source of Esau's strength, the source of Esau's power. You understand? Because it's our Lord that gave him it in the first place. Hey, but Jake Jake do have the spirit to, to think that way. Mm -hmm. can say, wicked men understood not judgment, okay. but men of the Lord understand all things to know that is we sin against our maker and end up in this low state. So who else you had to go to? Who else you had to turn back to and repent? To your bash from your shy and then why okay. David, you know, he acknowledged the transgression to know his sin. You know, the sight of his, his, his maker and they would know they were life is, they were strength is, they were hope is, they were salvation is. You know, seeking to your power. Right? The Lord is merciful, the Lord is, the Lord is a God, you know, full of mercy to pardon iniquity. A God that could save, he saw care save, he saw care deliver, he saw care and save his damn self. Right? There's only one who could save. The Hawa Basham Yoshai. Okay. Even when you read on, on David, the scripture says, it say, except for the matter um, with Uriah, it said David did all the things pleasing to the Lord. You understand? And that the Lord loved David. So David lived his life serving. The, that was that why David was different than all the other kings. David served the Lord. And in, in, in sin, when he did sin, what would he do after? He repent. You understand? He repent like but with, with Solomon, eh? Solomon, Solomon's kingdom had peace forty years. Solomon, the wisdom that Solomon had unmatched, right? But what did Solomon do? Solomon turned from the Lord and he went onto the other idols from where he women caused him to to go after, right? But David, even though he sinned, he never turned against the Lord, right? He asked for he asked for for mercy. Can Psalms. 32 verse 5 Psalms 32 verse 5 I acknowledge my sin unto thee and mine iniquity have I not hid I said I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord and thou forgivest the iniquity of my sin Selah for this shall every one that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Thou art my hiding place, thou shalt preserve me from trouble, thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. This is why the Lord say, My servant shall eat. Come. Right? The Lord eh, he gonna he gonna be that shelter in time of Jacob trouble. Come. Right? He gonna be that strong tower. Right? That, 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 that place, you know, that comforter, okay. you know, and this is what the Lord always to do, to turn back, to acknowledge the transgression that we sin, you know, because the scripture says we are yet this day in our captivity, you know, to, to, save off, to, to serve out our punishment, and the Lord always to turn back to him, to return on to him. That's how that father will chastise his son, so the Lord will chastise him. So we can turn back. Okay. I was watching um, a Jake by name of David Goggins. Right? Real athletic fit, fit Jake, you know, he was a, a Navy SEAL for a couple of years, right? And he, that, that, that SEAL training, you know, he had to be really, had to be top of the list. Cream of the crop to, 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 to go through that. But this Jake, it had a hundred mile run and he took part in it and basically they were showing you that he had broken bones, right? And fractured um fractured bones, torn tendons and muscles and all these things while doing the hundred mile run. And he didn't stop, right? He didn't stop and he he, he finished the run. But my question is well, what was the point? After doing said run and going through all that what he went through where is he where is he big reward he don't have a big reward eventually he is going to die and nobody is going to remember that he did that but the men of the lord 
that that the difference the difference we what we fighting for actually matters it going to matter because it is going to be remembered forever it have a saying it say things could only be truly enjoyed when when um <laughs> when it is forever you understand things could only be truly enjoyed when it has no end you understand you can't enjoy your wealth because you're going to die you can't go with it you can't enjoy you can't truly enjoy the people you love because a time is going to come where either you going to have to watch them die or they're going to have to watch you die you understand temporal you can't enjoy them you, you, you can't enjoy nothing that you do on this side because it you can't keep it with you it, 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 it temporal right the things of this world are, are temporal the things you know the things seen what about the things unseen what about the things to come what the scripture say it eternal it, it is forever everlasting right it lasts forever so when when the other scriptures say um, they, they, they fight for glory for honor for, for immortality so the the glory of the elect the, the honor of the elect is going to sound out throughout this earth forever these be they that have come out of great tribulation these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal right our stories are going to be sung right for, forever that these, these are the ones they the true believers here that that stay true to your how that is all that matters right the things that we fighting for and the persecution that we going through actually matters but the things that they doing no reason vanity right precepted you get the book of proverbs chapter 10 verse 2 sure. so proverbs chapter 10 Verse two. He said, "Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivered from death." Can so looking at that a ill-gotten ill-gotten wealth, you understand? It's not going to profit anything. All all the money that these people have managed to accumulate over time. So what? You understand? You can't. You not gonna pay off your about Shemiel Shai from destroying you. You not can give the Lord a certain amount of money and tell him, well, uh, spare my house, spare this piece here, spare this land here, spare the house on it, spare the people, you know, in the house and pay off the Lord. Your money not going to, your money not worth anything, cause not going to save you from the destruction that is coming. But you're watching, you're watching the men of the Lord, the women of the Lord who don't have as much money as you, who have nothing and you thinking that you better off than them. Not knowing that the things that they have have way more value that, that than you could ever have and that that were the truth. You know? Um they remind me of a, a dream I had. Basically I had a goal um it was a a gold a gold ring. Or I had a gold ring or a gold coin. Right? And it had plenty of dirt and smudge on it. And it had this merchant. He was coming around the area and he was he was buying valuable things right any gold silver any artifact whatever he was collecting them and he was paying for it and basically when he came and he see the ring or the, the coin that i had he, he he marveled at it and he was asking me where i where i get this you know and i t- i tell him i can't remember and he said this is the most valuable the most precious thing in the world today and it have no gold or any stone or any silver or any anything like it is the most valuable and the most r- the rarest thing in the earth today so i watching it and i telling him i said but watch how dirty and black it out kind of smudge and and dirt on it and he said it though it wouldn't shine now he said but in the end the same gold coin or the or the gold ring you understand you when it refine you will see how how bright it would shine and only in that in that time you would see its beauty and then he tell me he was um he wanted to give me I think seven seven thousand feet. You know and what our dream show me is that hey the truth the truth mightn't seem like it's that valuable right now, but in the times to come, <laughs> you understand, you will you will see. Because the truth gives you access to about Shimmy how shy, so you will see how valuable being in this truth is. Yeah, this 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 truth may get riches far beyond. Come. You know, you you looking for, right? As the scripture saying, um, Sirach, 
and two precept. Okay. Some of them bring on this first one. We are we now reading Proverbs 9 says Proverbs 10. Two treasures of the wicked of of, of wickedness profit nothing. But righteous delivered from death. So you know your money not gonna save you. Yeah, yeah Proverbs 11 verse 4. This is Proverbs chapter 11 verse 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Yes, riches are not going to prosper in the day of the most high wrath. It's so not going to save you. It's not gonna, you could have the world, you could have much billions. <coughs> I feel like I can bribe the most high to say, let me give you this. So. Right? Your federal knows your money, useless. Say your bashamishai. Your bashamishai riches beyond your money. Okay. Right? They, they Sirach 11 verse not a 20 to 21. Sirach chapter 11 verse 20. It says, Be steadfast in thy covenant, and be conversant therein, and wax old in thy work. Yeah, finish your course, finish your race. Okay. That is why Apostle Paul says, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. And he know what is laid up for him, a crown of righteousness, he know. Because that is what the Lord promised. The Lord said, you're not going to forget your labor of love. You know, the things that you did. Right? But casting all your cares upon this, 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 this world. Trying to please this world. Trying to, you know, do whatever you could, you know, to, 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 to be prosperous in this world. It, it temporal. You can't enjoy it, okay. right? You're, you're, you're laboring in vain, because somebody else is going to take it over. As you, as you now say, a person go out of what you die, or you go out of what that person die. You can't, you can't enjoy it. But seek for something immortal, mortality, okay. everlasting, where you can enjoy. Right? And this is what people do want. Jake just want now for now. Jake don't want to wait. Eh? Jake do have patience to wait. Jake have a short patient span, a short thinking span, you know, they want to go through the hell for your abash of your shy. you know, go ahead. Verse 21, it says, marvel not at the works of sinners, but trust in the Lord, and abide in thy labor, for it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord on the sudden, to make a poor man rich. Yeah, they would they we were to focus on the focus on this riches here were temporarily of thy treasures in heaven. Okay. Which is everlasting. Okay. Right? You're gonna put in all kind of triple shift and double shift and all these things to save up a set of money and all these things and then a the MOTB the RFID chip gonna come, digital currency and all your money will you have it gonna lose under a stone. Right? So you, 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 you labor in vain. You miss a lot of nights sleep. All these things watching for riches. And it ain't profit you nothing. Precept, um, Book of 1 Corinthians 9, verse 24. 24 to 25. Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24 he said know he not that they which run in a race run all but one receiveth the prize so run that he may obtain and every man that strive for the masters is tempered in all things now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown but we are incorruptible God. So, these people out there, they 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 seeking for a mastery. You understand? They see they have a purpose. They they seeking to conquer something, but they not do it. They not going through all that to receive that incorruptible crown, because only have one way to, to to receive that. But they doing it for what a corruptible crown. They doing it for for a vain reason. There's nothing you could do on this side that 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 means anything okay you're reading you're reading in ecclesiastes right the scripture solomon show you he he, he look he look upon the, the workings of men and how they how they toil and and, and they, they work hard and you know they do all these things and then it 
all his vanity that was that was solomon say he said for all his vanity all the workings of man under the sun is vanity because it, it is like it don't mean anything right you putting in double and triple shift right you working every day you don't want to take a day off you doing all that to receive a little piece of you re to receive dust and the people that you're working for making hundreds making thousands hundreds of thousands off your head and all you doing is receiving a little small money from that so you working hard and them getting your them getting your reward then you understand you working hard for no reason you devoting your life to a company that don't care about you you think the company going on will remember you for, for forever or something no because the company itself not going to last forever either right look as you always say look look at the, the, the all the kingdoms of all that fell look at babylon look at egypt look at the, the persians look at the, the the medes look at the greeks right look at the romans you understand each one of these nations told themselves that they would never fall you understand every single one of them said the same exact thing nothing is going to throw us down there's no other nation that could come against us we are not going to fall we're going to continue to prosper forever where are they today they they fell rome fell sure this is the new rome right the roman empire rebuilt but it they fell nonetheless the greeks fell as well america is going to fall too right america saying the same thing these ancient kingdoms said that they they ain't gonna fall but they're they going to right so you putting all your effort into a company or into a society that is going to crumble and then you watch us and scoff at us for putting our effort in into a kingdom that going to last forever right you saw kingdom could be could 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 be destroyed you saw his buildings could be destroyed you saw the lampposts and the, and, the, and the, the traffic lights the vehicles the roads all these things could be destroyed but in the kingdom of our lord Yahushai, no no kingdom no no building is going to crumble no earthquake could come no natural disaster could come and shake up the kingdom and it had to get rebuilt yet that that's not going to be a thing right our streets our we are ourselves the clothes we wear the chariots the vehicles we're gonna be riding it not it, it will be impossible to destroy it that is what we fighting for that way when you have children you're not gonna have your children are gonna have to watch you die someday and live with that burden and then they're gonna have children who are gonna watch them die and they're gonna have to live it's not gonna be that never-ending cycle of sorrow you're gonna have a child and you're gonna live to see to see that child reach five thousand ten thousand years and, you, and they ain't gonna be they ain't gonna be old either they're gonna be waxing stronger and stronger day by day they, that what you gonna see and don't feel it don't feel it not you know impossible to do because when the lord had them in in um in the wilderness the scripture said the clothes wax not old can not not not, <laughs> not the, 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 the slippers or the shoes can the shoes yeah. For all in years <laughs> hmm. yeah yeah pa. so the, 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 imagine that hey, your your your, your woman hey, your bre your brethren right your family hey, you're gonna get to see them every day they're gonna be in their right all right for example you you will follow this truth to please your wife or to please parents or to please children whoever the case is but for what because at the end of the day the, the temporal right now but imagine giving them up for your how about and hey, you're gonna get to see them again in the right mind perfect in the kingdom living forever you know so so uh, uh, it's crazy that this is even a, a, a decision the logical the logical decision would, would should be to hey, choose your how about shimmel shy well where's life he so care uh, yeah he promised us what no more joy no more sorrow he so care promise you that Esau could never promise that because Esau himself is that is what he of he of sorrow he of death you understand that Esau don't know how to run 
Esau don't know how to be peaceful. All Esau know about is war and, and calamity. Right? These is the things that have been prom promised to us. Right? Esau could Esau promise you um, perfect health? No. Because if, if, if he could do that, there wouldn't be a need for he, 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 he pharmaceutical companies and for hospitals. So Esau cannot pro promise perfect health. But what Yahweh shall I say? He coming with healing in his wings. So ask yourself who is really the right decision to, to make. Yeah. Yeah. Can read back over um, Corinthians 9 and 25. Okay. Corinthians 9 verse 25. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. Yeah. So they put a lot of people here striving it. Vain. Because not going to profit them in the end. Right? Again, yeah, Second Timothy 2 and 5. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 5. And if a man also strive for masteries, Yet is he not crowned except he strive lawfully. Except he strive lawfully. You know? Okay. So all of them, you know, are striving for masteries. But they ain't doing it according to the ways that your Basham is They ain't doing it lawfully. They seek for this. They want to seek for something temporal. Vain thing. We're not going to profit nothing. Look for profit. Okay. Right? Look for something where it's truly profit. We're going to profit here in the end for, for everlasting. You look for something that will profit for a little while and then it comes to end. You're back on the bread line. <laughs> no. Look for something that, you know, is forever. You know? That your children are going to enjoy. Enjoy your grandchildren for decades, for generations. Okay. A generational wealth. Never ending. You know, yeah, to show a uh, Jake, you know, a uh, uh, older Jake, you know, he might see his grandchildren, he could, you know, he lived to see his grandchildren and he got the, you know, we supposed to be living forever, so we supposed to see every generation, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, go, going st straight down. But the, this how, this how um, low Israel has become. You know, you see a second, a third generation and we think that is a long life. Jake think you know eighty something and ninety something is a long life. That is not is not. You understand? Hey, the men of old hey, when they used to live, hey, and this after Adam them went off, they still used to live nine hundred and something, eight hundred and something. But you read along, it's had a it's had a drop. Yeah, because the nicotine can <laughs> can. You know, they how the world get weakened too. Anyway. Yeah. Wickedness can. Lord, short me these. Okay. Short no the lifespan. What you the, the, the trees, the fruits, even the beasts that you feel. The people, you know, the, everything like it like it's sick, you know, son. And that he saw hey, that he saw doing. You know, just as your brother say, wickedness, the scripture say the earth is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Right? The, this this is not what the this is not paradise. This is not what the earth supposed to be. Yeah, I was gonna say there is no good thing could come to he that is always occupied in evil. What could evil has brought us to? Hell. No good thing could come from evil. Come. We life short because of our evil, because of our sin. You know? So no no good thing could come out from that. Can on 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 top of it being short it be it painful, son. You know, I get short and sweet, or you know, it, yeah, you spend a happy short life. Now it's short and painful. And this short life does feel like it's going on for centuries because of the pain. Right? We feel like we're living real long. That that because of how much pain we going pain we going through. You know? And it's all a, it's a learning process. The Lord days what come from disobedience. You understand? Days what come from stepping out of the light. Alright, this will come from, from a, going after these other nations, from going after idols, from for being disobedient, being unfaithful. Right? This this is what happened when you put your hand on the stove. You know, when it was told not to. 
we eventually will we learn we less well you know yeah we learn we lesson you understand some of us didn't you know some of us learned our lesson and we come back to the heavenly father and we hoping that we receive that mercy and he would deliver us and you know give us that that reward and for the rest of israel that ain't receive it they they're gonna be destroyed but they're gonna receive it too because that's how merciful that's how merciful the lord is it come just like a, a, a father in the world you know your children might you might have a child that, that bad you understand and you they will still they will still love the child because that is, that is yours you know and if you could choose if for them to be good you would choose for them to be good because even though they're evil you would choose for them to be good because that the love that you have for them a quick precept here you know. i'll read the day wisdom of solomon 5 I saw that one it said then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors right so you people watching us like we the crazy ones for preaching for making feet for believing in your bashim right you're not making account of the things that we doing they say when they see it they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves this was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor how is he numbered among the children of power and his lot is among the saints so that this is what you this is what you're going to be saying you accounted our life madness you watching us as we are the vain ones as if we hey, Jake tell me that at that time he was like you know what are you even doing out here you understand you were making no sense out here where's the point you know and he went he went he went his way so all they're watching us like the, our labor is, is vanity but you're gonna have a you're gonna get a rude awakening when you see when you see the reward of our labors is then it will hit you but it will be too late so yeah with that no salax so now one more for precept in isaiah 36 verse 6. isaiah 36 verse 6. this is low thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on egypt where even if a man lean it will go into his hand and pierce it so is Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him. Come, scripture say, Woe unto thee that go down unto Egypt for help. You understand that trust in the chariots and are not trusting in the Lord. Or the trust in a broken reed in a, in a falling, falling kingdom. Right? This society is going to fall. It is going to collapse. You understand? The safety, the, the, the false safety that they they, they, they trying to... to um, advertise it 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 it's it not real you understand it have no it have nothing meaningful for you in this kingdom because this kingdom was designed to benefit one type of people esau this is esau's kingdom this whole kingdom is governed around esau being in the middle this is this is his world is his his wealth is his place for now and everything that we do is for his benefit you understand so you cannot seek to get anything in this kingdom all you could do is serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and wait for him to come back and this is a show this is slavery and a lot of people feel that we in, not in slavery that you know everything everything we have you know is his own come right Imagine you pay for imagine you 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 buy a piece of land. We're supposed to uh, supposed to be yours and yet you still had to pay land tax. He's still um, profiting from you. You purchase a land and he's still taxing you, he's still you still making profit. And where's the purpose of buying it? Um, if I still had to continue paying for every month for years um, and you're still feeding our family. They true oppression, they wickedness, we in hell. Mm-hmm. And the Lord will come in to deliver we out of the hand that is too strong for thee. Still in the enemy hand. And the scripture says, He that steal it a man and sell it him, 
And if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And that is why the Lord going to put his sword to death because he refused to let we go. He refused to let we go. We still in his hands. Still in his possession. Okay. For a lot of you Jake in that mindset that you're all free and all that, you're all not. Right? You're all not free. Okay. Yeah. How about Shami and Shai coming to set me free from the oppressions of the so-called white man right and free me from these chains of darkness you're gonna save me from this, this, this flesh you're gonna come out of this flesh this flesh is a prison okay. you know so he coming the lord coming with save the lord coming to save you know okay, but that we hope this was a defined i to give all praises and all glory to the heavenly father Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Kakodash. The but honors to the apostles and the elders that do rule with that great millstone. Peace and salutation to the Akim out there pushing his gospel and sincerity and truth. Say Shalom to you, humble and sincere sisters out there as well. With the brothers from the GMS Shrine, come. Say Shalom.